I started doing a study because a friend sent me a prophecy that a great meteor event was going to hit the South Atlantic and it would literally wipe out millions would die in South America and in North America. And when I started reading this prophecy initially, I thought, no, this is just way over the top. You know, this has to be just wacko prophecy. But I ended up getting it sent to me twice, and I thought, I need to investigate this. And I started investigating this prophecy, and this man Ephraim, in 1974, when he was 16 years old, he was given this prophecy from God. And he outlined this meteor event that would come that would generate the biggest earthquake event in history. And when I started studying, I started seeing parallels between this prophet Ephraim and David Wilkerson. Because in 1974, yeah. David Wilkerson wrote the vision, and he said the greatest earthquake event in history is coming to the world Ephraim said the same thing mm -hmm. Ephraim said that this meteor would hit the earth and there would be numerous quakes around the world in 1974 David Wilkerson said there will be the greatest earthquake event in history there would be two other mega quakes in America he said the earth would shake and there would be numerous quakes around the world Mm -hmm. And it's like I'm seeing all of these parallels. Both prophets, Ephraim and David Wilkerson, yes. were holiness preachers, which, you know, the Bible says without holiness you can't see God. And I believe that if we don't have right living in our life, we can't hear from God. And, and these men were holiness preachers, and they were, both, they were both deemed as false prophets because people didn't like what they were hearing in this prophecy. So I started doing a study in the Bible on meteors. And what I discovered just totally blew my mind. Because initially, I thought I would be writing a chapter concerning the prophecies of David Wilkerson and Ephraim. Mm -hmm. And that people would label me a false prophet and say, you're going to ruin your ministry if you put this in your book. Well, it's in my book and it's full of the Word of God to back it up. And I want to share some things from the Word of God. That's okay, isn't it, Jim? Absolutely. Okay, I want to read from uh, Luke first. Luke, which Luke's account is Matthew 24's account. Okay? Yes. Jesus' disciples asked him, what would be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? What will we see before the rapture? And one of the last things he described, he says, there will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars on the earth. Now, stars, asteroids. Meteor. It says, on the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. Tidal waves. Men will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the earth. What is coming on the earth. Look at Matthew 24. I never saw this in Matthew 24. But listen to this. The sun will be darkened. The moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky. Stars can't fall them as one star would cover the entire world. But it's, So these stars are asteroids. Means asteroids. Absolutely. Which you came a, to that conclusion. Yes. See, so, I came to that conclusion too as I studied and, and, and word by word. And I realize star is, an, is aster, actually, in the, in the yes. Greek. Asteroid. Listen, listen, listen to this. Mark. The sun will be darkened. The moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky. And heavenly bodies will be shaken. Well, I started putting this together. And, and then I started seeing something in Revelation. And this was kind of freaky. Because, you know... I've come to the conclusion that Mystery Babylon is going to be destroyed before the rapture. David Wilkerson talked about the destruction of America. And when I was reading in Revelations about the destruction of Mystery Babylon, listen to this. Then a mighty angel picked up a boulder the size of a large millstone and threw it into the sea and said, with such violence 
the great city Babylon will be destroyed. A boulder thrown into the sea, creating a huge splash, and with such violence. It's will, a tidal wave. Yes. Well, then I started studying New York further. City's. Yes. Here has we have. A bay from here the we sea. have Matthew, Mark, and Luke talking about a tidal wave event caused by a meteor event, and the destruction of Mystery Babylon happening from a meteor event, and then the Lord showed me where, when this is going to happen in relation to the rapture. Let's go back to Luke again. The nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. Men will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Next verse. At that time they will see the sign of the Son of Man coming in the clouds. The rapture is happening right after this meteor event. Listen to Mark. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, men will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. The sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The, star, the stars will fall from the sky. Heavenly bodies will be shaken. Next verse. At that time, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. 